Hi, this is an update on the 3D printed strain wave gear. This is the first one I produced and that's what's in my previous video but I think there's an issue with this that uh, we can improve on almost straight away and that's that I was trying to emulate the uh, the splined cup with this part which meant that the belt was fixed inside it and when you end up uh, looking at the deformation up here you can see that only part of the belt is going to come into contact with the inner ring teeth on here. Well, not only that, it, I don't know how well uh, these timing belts do when you bend them this way across here. Uh, they do fine when you go uh, in around this way, but don't know what happens when you do it that way. So I thought that's something I could try and improve on quite quickly. So the next iteration of the strain wave gear looks like this. This is actually with a bigger uh, belt. It's a 5mm pitch, not the 3mm one that we had before. Uh, and it works just the same way. Uh, you can see. So what's the difference with this one? Well, it's not bolted together so it easily comes apart. You can see the, the bigger pitch on the teeth. You can also see that we've got a wider belt overall. This is 20mm diameter. So you can see this is a 5mm pitch and it's 300mm circumference, so slightly larger than the other one. This is not fixed in here. This can move round and what we've got is the characteristic gap that allows us to have the wave travelling round. I don't know if you can see that, that kind of gap there. That gap also exists on the top side. And on this ring we've got 60 teeth and on this ring we've got 62. Uh, and this is the wave generator. I'm using the scable bearings now, so that's standard across the both, and they're a bit more robust. It also gives us the width, and it generates the wave, the strain wave, on both the side that's got the uh, 60 tooth and the side that's got the 62 tooth. The diameter, the pit circle diameter, is the same. It's just the um, spacing between the teeth that's different when you add the, the other two teeth. And so far, um, that generates uh, an even wave of deformation across the full width of here. So I think that's the way forward. Um, what I want to um, go on to is to advertise that I've got this project on hackaday.io. I'll put a link in the description. And I very much welcome people to come and contribute to the project there. I don't want to take this forward on my own. I think loads of people out there could um, bring loads to this endeavour. So I'd encourage you to head over there and join the project. Now, these are the kinds of bearings I'm thinking might be useful to start generating a... Uh, a rigid version of this assembly and perhaps something like this as well although it must be noted that this doesn't do well unless it, the, uh, the two faces are being clamped together so it's a lazy Susan bearing this one but um, I'm keen to hear all ideas and um, for people to um, contribute their own builds and posts and developments on this because I think it could be good